Club. Fifteen St. Patrick's Day facts you didn't know. Good old St. Patrick's Day. The day you wear something green, hit the pub and get absolutely shit-faced. Unless you're Irish and particularly religious, no one really knows what the holiday is on about. All you know is there's green dye in your hair and your buddy Macca just bought another round. So to help clear things up a bit, here's 15 facts about St. Patrick's Day you probably didn't know. March 17th is the traditional death date of St. Patrick. St. Patrick wasn't actually Irish. He was a Romano-British missionary that went on to become a bishop in Ireland. The three-leaf clover was originally used to explain the Holy Trinity to pagan Irish folk. The colour originally associated with St. Patrick was actually blue and not the famous green that's so predominantly brandished in celebrations today. At the tender age of 16, St. Patrick was captured by Irish pirates and forced into slavery for six years. The heavy alcohol consumption associated with St. Patrick's Day began when the church lifted staunch dietary restrictions for one day, allowing the people of Ireland to feast, drink and be merry. <coughs> Until the 1970s, by Irish law, pubs were closed on the 17th of March as an apparent mark of respect to St. Patrick, but most likely it was a strategy to curb massive public drunken disorder. Here's a list of famous people born on St. Patrick's Day. Singer-songwriter Grimes, Nat King Cole, notorious serial killer John Wayne Gacy, George Harrison and Eric Clapton's ex-wife Patty Boyd, Kurt Russell and Gary Sinise, just to name a few. <coughs> Up until 2007, there was the world's smallest St. Patrick's Day parade held in Dripsy, Cork Island. It was just 23 metres traipsing from one of the town's pubs to the other. Sadly, one of the pubs closed down, so now the locals just parade from the bar to the toilet and back again. This is repeated all day long. In 2009, it was estimated that 26.1 million pounds of beef were produced for the festivities of March 17th. Irish musical group The Chieftains had instruments of theirs played in space by Irish-American Catherine Coleman, which was then featured on a track called The Chieftains in Space on their album Voice of Ages. The largest St. Patrick's Day celebration in the Southern Hemisphere is held in Sydney, Australia. Apartheid famously ended in South Africa on the 17th of March in 1992, after a referendum was passed 68.7% to 31.2%. It is estimated that on any given day, 5.5 million pints of Guinness are consumed, while on St. Patrick's Day that number more than doubles. St. Patrick is hailed for driving all snakes away from Ireland. However, evidence suggests that post-glacial Ireland never actually had any snakes, thus reducing the legend to nothing more than false whispers over green beers. So there's our 15 facts on St. Patrick's Day. I hope you liked them. Now this was a little bit of bonus content just to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Our regular video will be out Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific time as usual. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And this is the Schlapper. Shining Wolf.